This is Todd Whitman with Not 10 Yacht Sales. Today we're going to take a look at a 2001 Sea Ray 400 sedan bridge. Let's go take a look. Here we are looking at the 400 sedan bridge. 2001. Of course, as you can see, it's in the water. Beautiful Solomons, Maryland. You wouldn't know it was a uh, October afternoon. It's absolutely gorgeous out here today. Almost as gorgeous as this boat. Let's hop on board real quick. Nice thing is very easy access to the boat. Once you're in the cockpit, you have access to the bow. On port and starboard with these large molded in steps and wide gunnels. This has the aft bench seat with storage. They put this sunscreen in here, which basically gives you a little bit of shade here and privacy. They put a couple of just folding chairs. Molded in steps going up to the bridge. We'll look at that in a second. Here we are walking up the port side. Again, nice wide gunnels, nice hand holds the whole way. Once up here, everything is nice and accessible as far as your cleats, grounding tackle, anchor. And we're gonna take a walk down the starboard side as well. Back down into the cockpit. We're gonna walk up to the bridge to the Sea Ray 400 sedan bridge, which is got kind of nice molded in steps. Once you're up here, you have 360 degree visibility. Behind the helm, you have a U-shaped seating area. This table drops down and can make this into a sun lounge. Dual captain's chairs with bolsters. Of course, your full instrumentation, Raymarine GPS chart plotter, fish finder, autopilot, depth meter, VHF. It's going to kind of scan around a little bit. A little warm today, so I have that one Isinglass piece open because it was hot in here. Stepping into the salon of the boat, nice wide sliding glass door. Immediately to your port side, you have this couch which electrically comes out, becomes another sleeper. This table stores in a cabinet there. There's your main distribution panel with, of course, short power, 12 volt, generator control, etc. Starboard side, you have another little couch. Raised dinette, so facing dinette. Lots of visibility when these curtains are all open. Two steps down, you're in the galley. Refrigerator freezer. This is a recent upgrade. Just replaced not too long ago. Triple burner stove, lots of galley storage. There's, there's storage in the galley floor as well. That's a large space that you have access to. Dedicated pantry, which you just do not see in a boat of this size. Forward of the galley on the port side, you have a second stateroom with two twin bunks. These bunks can be filled in in the middle here and makes into a double berth. Nice large hanging locker. Forward of that, you have a, your guest head or day head with a vacuum flush toilet, separate shower stall with plexiglass door. Your primary stateroom's forward. The large island bed with access on port and starboard side, storage underneath. You have a large hanging locker on the starboard side, another large hanging locker on the port side, all cedar line with storage, LCD screen. The in suite head has a separate shower stall, vanity, and a vacuum flush toilet. We're looking at the engine room of the 2001 Sea Ray 400 sedan bridge. Twin Cummins 450s. After coolers, heat exchangers have been serviced. Looking straight down between the stringers, you can see you've got your seawater intakes and strainers. Scan around, starboard motor. Looking aft. 
water fuel separators for each engine. Dead center aft is your Westerbeek generator. Generator's got 1160 hours. Batteries, battery charger. Oil change system, water heater. Of course, all your exhaust. Hi, this is Todd Whitman with Not 10 Yacht Sales. I want to thank you for watching this video on the 2001 Sea Ray 400 Sedan Bridge. If you have any questions about this particular boat or any of my listings, you feel free to give me a call. My contact information is in the description of this YouTube video, uh, as well as the current offer price. So feel free to pick up the phone and give me a call. Thank you very much for watching and safe boating.